I think right now, winter, is the perfect time to get a hobby. And there's a place in town where you can find remote control cars, collector model cars, RC airplanes, drones, rockets, anime, toys, and more. And here to show off some of Hobby Town's items is Hobby Town's owner, Eric Vesutin. So we uh, visited you guys right before Christmas. Yep. And uh, now I think after, you know, the stress of the holidays, after we have some time to ourselves, I think now is a great time to pick up a hobby. And you your hobby is RC cars, and you brought some uh, some toys for yep. us to play with today. So what did you bring us today? So Emily, we've got a couple things here. We have a really impressive rated controlled tank, uh, fully functional, uh, a Toyota Supra from the Traxxas company um, that we can show you guys. Yep. Okay, so when I was at Hobby Town the last time, I saw one of these, and you were telling me a little bit about it, that it almost functions oh, and quite looks a bit. just like a yeah. real tank. Yeah, very much okay, so. so show me how it works. Um, well, let's see. And I mean, this is just like a taste of what is inside yeah, your, your shop. Fires up. Oh yeah, it's firing up. Yeah, so uh, we've got a, uh, a turret able to move up and down. And you see the exhaust? Oh, yeah. I don't know if we can get it on camera, but like you can see the exhaust coming out of it. Yeah, a diesel engine sound. Oh yeah, it you know? definitely sounds like a diesel yep. pusher. And it actually shoots stuff too. Oh yeah, so that's the cool thing. Actually we can, uh, we'll get it off site here. So. Ah! Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's bouncing around over there. It's yeah. so fast that the, the camera gets, doesn't catch it, but I saw it. Yep. You could do a little target practice. Right. So. Uh, how many, lots of people that come into Hobby Town, they do RC racing, so they have the cars, but for the people that um, have these, what do they do with them? Well, believe it or not, this up, up here and this this firing mechanism up top, you know, simulating a uh, machine gun fire. Right. You can, if you have two tanks, you got a party. You know? oh. You've got a, a battle, so you can actually dogfight these. Oh yeah. yeah, that would be so funny. And, okay, so if, we, if we're really into this, uh, you know, maybe our, our significant other or our sibling, they have one of these, we fight with them, but then we break them. What happens then? Oh, all repairable. We've got it all in stock. You know, whatever it might be, a car, a plane, right. a boat. Uh, yeah, we've got everything that you need to uh, get it back on the road again and get it back in the air. That is what I think is one of the most fun things about getting into RC anything, RC vehicles, is that when it breaks, it's like, a challenge or a puzzle to see how you can fix it. Right, we say uh, play, race, break, repeat, right. you know? I, when I was there, uh, you've got a couple different tracks. So, uh, you know, a few feet back from the store, you have an outdoor RC track. That's right, just behind Barstow. Oh, and right. what, you're going to do some actual racing there. We do, actually. Uh, that's coming up in uh, this month of February, actually, oh, wow. in a few weeks, as a matter of fact. Uh, running cars like this. Right, this right, like this Supra. So I was telling you right before we started, I, I was at uh, Barrett Jackson over the weekend. And it's mm -hmm. so funny that you brought the Supra. Yep. They, they had a professional driver drive us in the Supra. And right. so it was like, you know, drifting and stuff. And that's kind of how they operate on the track. And that's how you got your start in RC cars, by racing, right? Uh, I did. That's right. Yeah, good memory. I know. And that's yeah. how you ended up the owner of Hobby Town in Fresno. That's right. Exactly. Just uh, went out to race and, and just fell in love with it. Right. So you have the track uh, out back, but then you've also got like a practice track inside, but that's where the, we the, do, yeah, the smaller cars. We do, yeah, it's a smaller, smaller track, yeah, because the uh, square footage is less, of course, right. so a much smaller track that would be like like the size of the studio. So, uh, okay, maybe we, maybe we'll, I'll, I'll move the table in a minute if we'll do this at the very end. But other than the RC cars, what else is at Hobby Town? Oh my goodness, we've, you know, plastics, any building supplies that you can think of. Uh, we have an expansive selection of uh, Gundam. Uh -huh. uh, oh yeah, the Japanese, Gundam. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, uh, I think we rival that of any place like in L.A., for instance, for our selection of it. Uh, plastic models, military models, uh, I love cars. These. Uh, the kids go paints. crazy for the Gundam. Mm -hmm. You have all kinds of train stuff there. I know one of our uh, photographers, James, he's a big train guy, so they got all that kind of stuff there. You have an event coming up. Tell us about the event. Oh, that's uh, our first race of the season for these guys, which is going to be uh, February 12th. Okay. Um, 
registration set that about nine o'clock and we start qualifying start racing it's pretty cool to watch just to spectate that's uh, at 11 o'clock of okay. course weather permitting okay perfect mm -hmm. we will have all the information about their next RC event on our website Eric Vasutin thank you so much uh, he's gonna let me play with all the toys now thank yep. you so much for being with us here today uh, coming up here on Central Valley today we're just a couple of weeks away from Valentine's Day there's still plenty of time for you to head down to Stafford's Chocolates to get something for that special someone. We head there next. Stay there.